Okay, we're here looking uh, inland, looking uh, basically northward from Carpentaria Salt Marsh from the Ash Avenue Restoration. And we're looking into the uh, San Inez Mountains, very close to the coast right here. And we have two main drainages that feed into this remnant marsh. We have Santa Monica Creek and we have uh, Franklin Creek. And they're gonna um, drain through the hills. Obviously they're, they're going through this urban area, but actually right or just on the outside of this urban area is a lot of ag here in Carpinteria. Now, historically, and a lot of greenhouse ag, historically that was a lot of flowers, a huge flower industry here. That's sort of waned in recent years. One of the consequences of that though, is we've had a lot of permalite, which is the little light rocks that people put into their uh, in potting soils and in the soils for, for plants um, has gotten washed down. So we get a lot of that uh, material coming into the estuary over the years. Recently, um, this has been, most of these um, greenhouses have been, dis the flower industry has been displaced and, and migrated elsewhere. And we have a large uh, marijuana cultivation facility and we don't seem to have as much of the permalite um, issue. There's, there's smell issues, odor issues, but, but at least in terms of objects going into the marsh, not, not quite the same. As we continue to look down here, we see all the, the modern development. Now this area right here, this is a mobile home park right on this edge of the estuary right above Ash Avenue. This is a key thing in terms of uh, uh, stakeholders, etc. This uh, mobile home park flooded a lot, and I mean a lot. So the, the residents were really, really upset. So that's one of the key drivers that um, helped get the Ash Avenue restoration going. As we continue to look down, um, we see uh, the drainage channel. Well, actually, we, we see the recreational uh, trails that have been put in, but we see this main drainage channel, that, that channel that's right there on the lower left of our screen here. Um, this is the area that was the, the channel that would get, a, actually bring a lot of water into the mobile home park. So redoing the restoration also meant redoing some of the, tidal, the, the existing tidal gate that was there. Okay, now as we look down, we see here is this area, this Ash Avenue restoration is really a, um, a, a trans, it was really specifically put in to have a lot of the topographic diversity and therefore a lot of the vegetative diversity. So from the left of our, from the, excuse me, the right of our screen, we're seeing Ash Avenue. That's the high elevation point. As we look across over to the left, and if we pan a little bit, we can see into the main channel part of the um, restoration, that's obviously low, that you can see the standing water, the mud flats, et cetera, and the tidal channels. So we're going roughly from high to low. So we have a mix of, uh, of the types of plants, upland vegetation, salt marsh vegetation, et cetera. We also have some nice expansive, uh, relatively for the area, we have some relatively expansive mud flats here. So we have a lot of great uh, foraging area for birds, etc. As we continue to look, we'll see um, the uh, main channel and then some of the excavated channels that were put in during the restoration. And um, we have, you can begin to see some of the um, uh, nascent uh, channel for tidal channel formation that's been happening uh, in the wake. You'll see that these channels are, be are becoming more curvilinear as opposed to straight. Up at the top, we're seeing the, the drainage channel, the existing historic drainage channel. But as we keep going, you, you see um, this, this matrix of different types of vegetation. As we keep going to the left, we encounter another chunk of coastal development. In this case, these, this is this housing development between the salt marsh and the beach. This would have been um, a much more extensive dune uh, complex uh, before, uh, say, before the 1930s or so. Um, uh, before they had these, this housing started going on, this little spit of land. Um, and and so, so that's basically it. So if we look down now, we can see uh, the totality of um, the Ash Avenue restoration. And again, completed in 97 has been um, uh, going on since then. If we fly up, we can get a, a better um, overview of the overall lay of the land. A key part of this restoration was also recreational opportunity, passive recreational opportunity. So you see this pretty extensive network of trails and a pretty extensive interpretation area where folks can meet. You can come here on any Saturday, I'm assuming it's not raining, any Saturday at 10 a.m. for a tour of the site. And lots of school groups use the site. Um, all kinds of great stuff here at Ash Avenue, uh, adjacent to the Carpinteria Salt Marsh State Reserve.